Hey, what's going on guys? It's Hawksest here back with another Apex Legends mobile video. Now, inside of today's video, and actually let's go ahead and start the video while I talk. Uh, basically, I had a solo queue ranked game inside of Gold 3 playing as Pathfinder. If you guys didn't know, I am maining Pathfinder right now, which I'll probably talk about why that's a good and bad thing in the current state of the game really soon. Um, mostly it's just because I think Pathfinder is one of the most enjoyable champions or legends to play and also has some of the best clip potential. And since I'm a YouTuber, it just kind of makes sense. So I'd really love to main him and try to work on being the very best pathfinder that i could possibly be and maybe the best pathfinder if you know i can put in that kind of work uh but currently we're sitting around 490 total kills with him which i think is top five i i don't know for sure if it's number one but i've seen nobody with more kills than me but i would assume there probably is so currently sitting at probably around top five to top ten in total kills um and also because I, I'm not Predator right now because I've been playing a lot of pubs because pubs are actually a little bit more competitive than ranked at the moment, or at least in my rank. So I've been playing a lot of pubs with other like YouTubers like Noah and whatnot. Uh, but yeah, inside of this gameplay, playing, uh, playing Pathfinder, and uh, you're going to see a lot of uh, team play in this uh, video, which is part of the reason I wanted to upload it because this is one of those gameplays where it's not just me running around getting kills with, you know, dead teammates. I thought it was a pretty good... Uh, demonstration of how you end up uh doing well inside of a solo queue game and playing around or with your teammates um but yeah first three kills were bots I'm possibly i'm not 100 percent sure the bots in apex legends mobile are actually designed pretty well to where you can't 100 percent tell whether or not they're bots every time typically you can from like the names and the way they move and all that but again those bots or maybe real people were kind of in that middle ground where i couldn't tell but every kill after that all real people including this wraith that i'm fighting at the moment uh but yeah it's just talking about pathfinder one of the biggest issues with him right now inside of apex legends mobile is the movement speed lag and what i mean by that is whenever and this doesn't matter it, it doesn't matter what legend you are whenever you start moving too fast you're gonna rubber band and lag really bad and as pathfinder with his grapple you're gonna be moving fast a lot like whenever you're grappling and you land and slide you start having really bad lag and it makes it so that it's really hard to have clean movement as pathfinder which i'm hoping that'll be addressed it's been like that since the soft launch which i was hoping would be fixed because again i wanted to play pathfinder and in the soft launch it was really annoying um but yeah he, pl he plays pretty much the same as uh he does on pc as far as i can tell i haven't played a whole lot of pathfinder on pc if any to be honest i, I think i've played him like three or four games uh main mostly because i don't play apex legends pc and i've only played a total of like 20 games uh but yeah trying to trying to master him inside of uh apex legends mobile is, is really interesting just trying to learn how his his grapple works and the, the the science behind it and all that and uh i've been watching a lot of youtube videos as well for apex legends pc trying to see exactly how it works uh but yeah Right here inside of the gameplay, you can tell I am getting the respawn on my first teammate. I decided to hit that before I went for my second teammate because my second teammate was in the open and this is ranked. So I'm trying to get as many points as possible. So it seemed more reasonable to go hit a safe res, come back and get my next teammate because I knew I had at least a decent amount of time. It, it does end up getting pretty close. But another helpful thing about playing Pathfinder uh, for recovery for teammates is the fact that you can get in and get out super easily. So like right here, I'm able to grab the tag and assuming someone was there to fight me, I could have just grappled out real quickly and then also you know that the main zipline ultimate helps as well but didn't, didn't use it too much here but yeah right here kind of boring just just hitting the response and then we'll get kind of back into the, the action and the fights um yeah i mean i'm kind of recording this live so i didn't really plan what to say uh, i was going to talk about uh, things that i think should be fixed inside of apex legends mobile uh during this you know voiceover but i think that requires its own independent video with its own edits own graphics and all that um so that that's something that should be pretty coming pretty soon uh, another video i plan on making really soon for you guys as well is going to be a best hud video talking about a uh thumbs hud which you know just two thumbs uh three finger four finger and then maybe talking about five finger a little bit uh, i think i think five finger is kind of the max you should have in apex i think six is pointless and i think four is maybe just a little bit less than you'd want it's like right there where it's almost enough but one more finger would help for uh using tactical abilities so for example as pathfinder you can see that i have my grapple button right next to my shoot button so that gets kind of annoying sometimes i'll shoot when i want to grapple sometimes i'll grapple when i want to shoot well i never do that i never grapple when i want to shoot but i will really often shoot when i want to grapple so having one more finger for that would be nice but i played four fingers for all the years that i played mobile shooter games so i'm just gonna stick with four because again it's it doesn't really make that much of a difference i just misclick sometimes and it'd be kind of nicer to have one finger uh, but yeah, right here in a fight with a team, I think I fight this team a couple different times as well. So I think I'll go to be quiet and kind of just let you guys watch what happens. Uh, but right here, I, I, really quickly before I shut up, decided to back off just because, again, it's ranked and there's no point in being super stupid taking fights. So I, I thought I'd rather back up med, get out of a bad position because it also seemed like another team was pushing up, which you can see I see right here. 
take out one see the mirage still trying to learn exactly how to analyze which mirage is real i know there's like ways to tell but i just i don't know too too well so you're in their sights another thing too i want to say the flat line i'd say the flat line is kind of like the ak of uh apex and then the r301 is kind of like the m4 um but the the flat line in this game is just eh, i don't know to be fair i don't have any attachments on it in this but like the recoil on it can be really frustrating to handle and the time to kill is like i'd assume the 301 is uh, decently better i mean the the flat line's okay but yeah I, I i wish i swapped this weapon at some point because there's a few times where i'm like damn bro i just can't control this thing at these kind of ranges Yeah, you can see <laughs> one thing i really have to do is take the flat line the 301 and a couple different like ars and weapons that i typically use and take it into the training lobby and practice the recoil because if you guys didn't know the recoil patterns are consistent inside of apex legends and apex legends mobile so if you just go in a training lobby and constantly spray targets and learn the recoil pattern you can get to the point where you can control it and beam people at longer ranges or su super long ranges um i don't believe this game has bloom or bsa I'm, I'm not entirely sure how that works i haven't really tested weapons or i don't have a whole lot of knowledge on how it works on apex legends pc but uh if i do make videos on like guns or gun guides or anything which is something i'm thinking about doing uh that's stuff i'll, I'll be able to find out and let you guys know about but yeah going going inside a training lobby shoot, spraying your gun without controlling the recoil and seeing what the pattern looks like and then copying that pattern in reverse is a good way to kind of learn how to control the recoil so for example like if you shoot a gun and it goes up and to the right to control the recoil you go the opposite which would be down and to the left so that that's quick guide on how to how to control recoil maybe one day i'll make a whole video talking about that which would be memed once again uh if, if you know you know uh, but yeah, at, at this point, we're fighting uh, the team again. We, we've had, been fighting this team for so long. Pretty solid players here. I think, again, the Bloodhound and the Octane, I uh, had a couple different skirmishes with. But go ahead and, and get quiet right here so you guys can see how this fight goes down. Now in a 2v2 situation. Recharging shields. Recharging shields. See, I backed up right there, so I got a little bit more mo momentum on my uh, my grapple as well. 2x on the R9, I didn't love in this situation. Typically, I like to rock a, uh, a 1x or red dot, which now that I'm thinking about it, I could have just taken the 2x off and had the normal red dot on it. But when I tried to swap earlier, I was just like, oh, I don't have another sight to put on it. I only have the 2x, but kind of forgot the R9 has like the really nice iron sights. But like in a fight like this, the 2x was pretty, pretty handy. I think one thing with Pathfinder, like the most important thing is constantly repositioning. And that's one thing I'm trying to get in the habit of. Boom. So we go ahead and take out the squad right there that, again, we've been fighting like the entire game. Uh, I got Taiwan. Oh, I just realized actually now that the uh, the other teammate just ended up backing out, which it's kind of lame because we only had a few more minutes until the game was over. So we would have got a couple more points, but it is what it is. Oh, right here too I, I heard gunshots from over here i kind of cut that part out but that's why i came over here and then again tried to spray him down with the flat line got pretty good damage off but it's the flat line and i haven't practiced the recoil at all which you know now that we're talking about it inside the video i'm definitely gonna hop into a training lobby and try to train but yeah super super good way to learn how to control recoil and then obviously just practicing inside of games is going to be one of the best things you can do but going in training lobbies and just you know getting getting that kind of practice and drill drilling it into your brain is a, a really good way to perfect it See, I'm whipping at range. Also, uh, while I'm here too, and you know, while I'm hopping around trying to kill this guy and ignore this aim. Um, one thing I'm also gonna make videos on really soon is gonna be movements. Uh, and I don't think I'm gonna do a video like, you know, the ultimate movement guide where I talk about like all the different things you need to know about movement in one video. I think the way that I'm gonna approach it is rather gonna be individual things you can learn. So it'll be like a series where I teach you how to, you know, number one, like slide cancel, B hop, stuff like that. Another video will be, you know, breaking down strafing, uh, you know, diff different things that I can teach you uh, that will accumulate and uh, build up to create uh, overall good movement, I guess. I kind of a long-winded way to version to say that there's going to be multiple videos on movement. But uh, anyway, hope you guys enjoyed that video. Nice little gameplay. 
Um, I've been playing a lot. I haven't been uploading videos as much because I'm just focusing on getting as good as I can right now so that when I make these guide videos, I have ample experience and the video actually comes out being helpful and not just me trying to make a video just to get it done. Uh, so uh, again, video is coming really soon, like guides and whatnot, and then gameplays here and there. But yeah, if you guys enjoyed, make sure to drop a like and a sub down below. And with that being said, I will see you guys later. Peace.